Hi Michelle, um, I thought that this might be a good way to show you the Google Plus and the Twitter since we can't seem to find a good time for us to meet with this stuff. So um, I'm going to give you a quick rundown and if you still need help then, I, then we can find a time but this might help get you started. So for Google Plus, this is the thing that Lisa went through with us on Institute Days. Um, you're just going to go to your Google account. So you just go to Google. Um, I'm already logged in here, um, but you might see like a login up here. Um, so just log into your school Google account. And you're going to see something if you haven't set it up yet, which I think you have. Yours will say plus Michelle. Um, so you're going to click on that. And my internet has been going kind of slow today, so we'll hope that it loads. So this, once it loads, it kind of reminds me of Facebook in a way, but it's known as, we're using it as a professional learning network. Um, so it'll pull up this screen here. This is just kind of things that I've posted to YouTube. Um, you know, people that I follow will show up on this screen. Um, so this is kind of like your home page. This is telling me that I might know these people, and I do, so you can click and add them to, you know, your circles is what it's called, so I know this person from PR. So you can go through and add whoever you want. Um, you can post something similar to Facebook, and, you know, if you want to share it with people in your circle or people, if you tried something new or something cool for education, you can go ahead and post that here. And this up here, you, this will show me everyone that I have linked to at Prairie Ridge. These are kind of like my friends. Um, and you're in there. So that is basically that. I honestly don't go here very often, but if you click on the home page or scroll over the home page and go down to communities, this is what Lisa wanted everyone to do. So the community, oops, the community that Lisa wants us to try is for the grading system, and it's not working. And if you're not part of it yet, what you can do is you can search for it, and that's what I'm going to help you do right now. Maybe. So you can click right here. I'm already in it, but if you search for um, D155 homework grading exams, this community will pop up. Um, and once you've joined it, you can enter. And this is all, these are all the postings about grading and homework and exams at PR. So honestly, not a lot of people are using it yet. I'm not sure if. It is catching on like Lisa had hoped that it would, um, but it is good as a reference and you get updates once someone posts something, so it's kind of a neat idea. You can have discussions here if you want to on certain things. So that's Google Plus in a nutshell. The thing that I really like about Google Plus is you can do Google Hangouts. It's like Skype, but you can do it with many people. So some interesting things here but that's that and then now let's go to Twitter which I think you'll get a lot more use out of and I used to use Twitter as social network like with my friends and you know you can follow celebrities and all that good stuff but um, at the Institute Day Tim Tagge kind of introduced it as using it as a professional learning network and that's what I've started using it for this year so once you sign in, you just go to Twitter, make your own account, and my suggestion would be actually just to search for me. So if you go to connect and search for my name, or you can search for like Steve Cook's name, that will help you start get, getting connected to people at Prairie Ridge. Sorry, my internet is going so slow. So if you are in Connect and you just search Kate Sanford, I should pop up here. And 
if you go to my profile and look here where it says following and followers, I would click on either one really, following, and this will show you everyone that I'm following and it's really mostly people from District 155. So if I were you, I would just click on follow, that's what will be here, and that will connect you to um, a lot of people that are at Prairie Ridge. <clears throat> so new people sign into Twitter all the time. So a lot of times I'll just check like Ann's or Steve Cook's or Trey's profile and follow the same people that they're following because it's kind of a, just a professional learning community that we can all follow each other and see what everyone's doing and get new ideas. So once you started following people, um, then it will make your Twitter more interesting because new people will start popping up. So if you go back to home here, this is what you will start seeing after a few days, after the people that you follow start posting things. So for example, um, Jameson Higgins posted something um, about the Teach Special on CBS, which I actually posted something about too. That was a huge topic on Friday night. Everyone was posting about that, um, you know, watching the CBS special teach. Um, so it's kind of like Facebook also, but it's a way to share ideas and share interesting things. So these blue lines here mean that there was kind of like a conversation. So after I posted about that, Lana, uh, Lana Bakta, um, you know, asked if I thought it would be on again, and I replied to her. So it's a way to connect to people that maybe you don't talk to all the time. Um, here's Zach Gim. He posted something about the football game and Janine replied to him. So it's kind of, I just come back to this homepage a lot. Um, Steve Cook posts a lot. Um, you know, you get updates about Prairie Ridge. So there's a lot of people from PR that are um, tweeting on a constant basis and it's really cool to see what people are doing. Um, Ann Lashway is going to try this genius hour, and I asked her if I could come in and observe it. So that's something that I never would have known before, and it's a great way to get everyone connected. So that's your home page. Um, if you're interested to see if there's someone on Twitter, you can go back to that connect page and search for anyone here. Um, and then this is a hashtag, which you are probably familiar with. Um, they have them on TV all the time. But um, this is a way to look for topics, and this is what I've been using it for a lot. Um, you can search for, uh, maybe let's try, just sped and see what comes up. So, um, that wasn't a great search. Sometimes it doesn't work. Sped chat, maybe, might come up. So this one, this is what other people are saying about special ed. So hashtag sped chat. Everyone that has done that recently, their posts will come up. So a lot of times it will be articles that people are reading or um, interesting videos that they've found. Um, so it's a way to get ideas. Um, I've gotten a lot of what I should do in the classroom, but it might be a great thing for for you as well. Um, so that's a way to search for what's trending. A lot of times I will do like flipped classroom. This is a great way for me to find stuff about flipping. So anyone that has talked about flipping the classroom, their um, thing will come up. So that's a way to search. It's kind of as used as a search tool too. And then if you click on me, this will post on yours, it will post everything that you tweet about will be on your me page. So here is where you can compose your first tweet. Um, you can say anything you want. You can type something. You can do hashtag, hashtag sped ed, um, and that will allow people to search for your tweet. Um, you can only have 140 characters, so you have to kind of keep it short. Um, so that's how you tweet your own. Um, let's say you find someone, let's see, 
if you find something that you like, um, let's say I really liked this post, I could click on it. Oops. Click on the actual tweet and you can retweet it so that will just show up to everyone that's following you. It will show up on their feed. You can favorite it so that just means you'll come back to it later. Um, or let's say it's an actual person. Let's say I wanted to reply to Stephanie's tweet. Oops. It will um, it will have all of the people that were in there and it will reply back to their so it will show up on their feed. So that's that. Um, there's so much that goes into it that I think once you get started it will come more easily but like I said the first thing I would do is start following people to um, you know see what's going on. Um, I would love to sit down with you and go through this when you have time or if you're interested. I have Twitter on my phone which I think is a lot easier to navigate so I would recommend you download it on your phone and let me know if you need anything. Hope that helps.